Sahnam, good morning. I learned a new expression yesterday. Top of the morning to you, top to the morning to you. I thought I heard it from the rap song, but um, anyway. Um, day 11, yee -hee! Um, So definitely kudos to those who consistently show up and do this challenge. This is why it's called a challenge because a challenging your routine, it's challenging your thinking, it's challenging your lifestyle, and it's forcing you to prioritize, reshuffle, and continuously to show up for yourself. You're not doing it for me, you're doing it for you. And number 11, is a special number in numerology. It's a doorway because it looks like a door. And, you know, not that 10 wasn't special. Every day is special. But number 11 has a different sig uh, significance as well. If you're paying attention, sometimes you will see synchronicities on the clock, 11-11, or dates or times. So it's a good thing. It's, uh, it's what we call universe winking at you. Uh, all right, we're tuning in. So these videos are getting shorter and shorter because I don't have to explain so much. I'm done with my write-ups and explaining all the important factors. Now it's all about perfecting it and really uh, refining the breath, the movement, um, and giving it all you have. All right, so we're going to bring our hands together. We're going to tune in with Om Namo Guru Dev Namo, followed by Mangala Charan. If those words don't resonate with you, you just continue to breathe long and deep, centering in yourself. Let's take inhale and exhale. Inhale deeply, lengthening the spine. Exhale as you release the shoulders down the back, tucking the chin slightly back. Inhale deeply again, closing the eyes, lifting the gaze up to the brow point, setting the intention or aligning or tuning yourself to that highest vibration of your being. Exhale, let's inhale to tune in. Om Deep inhale, suspending the breath, pulling the root lock. And exhale, relax. Satnam. All right. I'm really cold because this is all wet and sweaty, uh, but it's okay. I'm super alert. Okay, first move, fists of anger, right? So thumbs are on the mound of the pinky. We're squeezing the other fingers around the thumb. Backward strokes, eyes are closed, focusing at the brow point. Powerful movements, including the abdominal muscles and the diaphragm, inhaling out, exhaling in, pushing all the breath out. Three minutes, let's start with the breath. Begin.
deep inhale up. Squeeze, stretch, hold. You know what to do. Inhale tightly. Pull the spine up. Root lock. Inhale, come to a meditative space. Stay here. Close your eyes. And just notice what you feel. Take a deep inhale and full exhale. Inhale, gently open your eyes. Take a little bit of water if you need to. Okay. What are you angry at? What are you angry at? What are you angry about? Those are the things that you want to address. What were you angry about? What triggers you? What sets you off? What doesn't jive? What are your pet peeves? Um, things like that. Okay, uh, meditation. Activation for the inner conflict resolver reflex, right? Inhaling five seconds, exhaling five seconds, suspending the breath between 10 to 15 seconds. Um, six minutes, still using a metronome. At some point I will move that out of our equation and ho hoping that you have already established that flow and rhythm of your breath and your capacity. Um, if you're still counting the seconds as the metronome beeps, one, two, three, four, five, that's okay. Uh, when you're ready to replace that, sa, ta, na, ma, wa, I don't know, so, some, something that you could uh, keep track of. Um, but really focus on, at this point, I want you to really focus on the flow to make it yours so that way you don't have to rely on external uh, measure that you really could connect to your breath and really follow the inhales and exhales and the suspension and be uh, comfortable with it. All right, so here we go. Hands at the heart center. Whew, the sports bra is suffocating me, so it's so hard to breathe with this, but I'm gonna do my best and here we go. Let's take a deep inhale. Full exhale. And let's begin. Inhaling five seconds. Exhaling five seconds. Suspending the breath. 10 to 15. Making sure as you're inhaling that your belly inflates and as you exhale, you're pulling the navel in towards the spine, pushing all the breath out. And as you suspend the breath, the muscles of the abdomen and the diaphragm are relaxed.
check in with your posture, making sure you're sitting up nice and tall. Chest up, chin in. Make this your last cycle. And then inhale deeply. Stretch the arms overhead, suspend the breath, pull the root lock, hold. Exhale, and begin to shake your arms. Inhale again. Pull the root lock, hold the breath. Exhale. Last one, deep inhale. Root lock engage, shake the arm, shake the whole spine, wiggle, shake every part of your body. And exhale. Stay in the space, go within. Allow your breath to flow naturally. Let's take a deep inhale, sigh it out or exhale, one more time, and 
Let me gently open your eyes. Good. This is called the freak yoga for a reason. Because when people read the description of the challenge, like, oh, yeah, yeah, we want to transmute the anger. We want to express the anger. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And then they see what it's involved and they're like, oh, looks weird, not doing it. <laughs> and in Kundalini Yoga community, we make fun of it and we call it the freak yoga because, yeah, when people see us do certain things, they go, what? <laughs> How come? This is yoga? But hey, it's been the most powerful thing that helped me transform my life and myself. So I teach it because I believe in it. I teach it because it works. And I teach it because I've experienced it. So unless you show up and do it, you're not going to know if it works or not. And to reap the benefits of it, if, if we need to carve out our true self, is going to take a daily chiseling out of it. It can't just one time, you know, fairy dust sprinkles and magically you are whoa, totally aware, totally, you know, it's, it's daily grind that gets you the results. And so again, kudos to those of you who continuously show up. We are slowly getting out of the honeymoon phase and as we approach the teen numbers, it could be an uphill climb. And watch your thoughts. You know, at this point, things are like, why am I doing it? Uh, are tend to creep in into the mind. So just notice it. Notice it. You don't have to react to it. You don't have to do anything about it. You just have to notice it. So let's bring the hands into the prayer mudra in front of the heart center to seal the practice with one long satnam. Inhale deeply. So Satnam. Satnam, thank you again for tuning in. Um, just an update, Saturday we'll have to do this a little earlier because of my trip to out of town. So um, I will let you know it probably be around 8 o'clock in the morning uh, or 7.30. So uh, we'll... Uh, give you a definite time in uh, in a couple of days have a blessed day i'll see you tomorrow